Hey guys, how are you? Good to see you. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you feeling today? All good? Hey guys, thank God it's raining. Yeah. Well, it's raining here in, in, uh, in Colombia. I'm in Colombia, by the way. <laughs> Colombia, Santa Tecla. <laughs> Colonia, Colombia, no. <laughs> No, guys, uh, yeah, I live, I live in Tecla. Uh, but yeah, it's raining here. It's raining. Uh, how about there, guys? Is it raining there? No? Yes. yes it nice, nice. I missed the rain yesterday. I mean, it rained for a while, but just like just a couple of minutes. But it's been so hot these days, guys. It's been really, really hot. Did you know that, did you know that um, in Saudi Arabia, Arabia guys, uh, they, they, they have created artificial rain. So human created rain. Lluvia, lluvia creada por humanos, guys. Did you know that? It's crazy, huh? But yeah, guys, they, you know, we can control the weather now. <laughs> so, anyways, thank you. Thank you for coming, guys. Thank you for being here early. Lisette, how are you? Lisette, how are you feeling now? You're si are you still sick? I am so, so. I am tired. You're tired. You had, did you have to study yes. or, or because of your job? No, because I have an event tomorrow. You have um, what? Tomorrow, I'm sorry? Yes, I have an um, uh, um, project. A project. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. Entre okay, all right, very good. I, I don't know. <laughs> and tomorrow I have to uh, present uh, my my project uh, oh. to uh, empre entrepreneurship uh -huh. to entrepreneurs locales uh -huh. local mm -hmm. entrepreneurs mm -hmm. okay entrepreneurs <laughs> yes okay entrepreneurs uh -huh. hey that's that's uh -huh. that's great so you you're studying uh, you're studying business administration is that what you're majoring in mm -hmm. No. No. I'm no. Um. You are no, a business no. administrator. No. <laughs> try, try it, try, um, try to say. I, I, <laughs> I, um, I'm a person of uh, the valle variedad uh, de cosas. With multiple cosas. things. The multiple things, yes. Okay. And this uh, uh, an entrepreneur, uh, okay. set on, uh, um, petit, no, um, Do you speak French? Uh, <laughs> yes. Okay, that's why. That's really. Uh, <laughs> okay, got you. <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah english is is you know so much like like french <laughs> all, right. Oh, yeah. all right very good thank you guys thank you thank you for going i i, I i'll okay. ask you i'll ask you more later because because of the time okay but but i'm glad that you're here lisa thank you for being here and i didn't know that you spoke french that's nice that's very nice uh i am going to learn french i'm very good at uh, i think i'm very good at learning languages like I can learn languages easily, um, um, but uh, but I do want to learn French because that's going to increase my salary. <laughs> you know, si aprendo francés, voy a mi salario se va a incrementar. You know, so that's going to be great. Uh, like this, right? So so I, I speak Portuguese and English and Spanish, right? So I speak three languages, right? Very fluently. Tres idiomas que hablo bien fluido, but Portuguese is not has not increased my salary because there is no demand for it where I work. But French, there is demand, you know. No hay demanda para portugués, pero hay demanda para inglés, para, para francés. So, mandarín, mandarín, chino, David. I, I don't like Mandarin, <laughs> but I would learn it if it if it would increase my 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 salary. But I do like French. I think French is beautiful. You know, French is amazing. I, I love it. I right? imagine. Yes. 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 <laughs> but this uh, difficult. The difficult, difficult part. No. The difficult More difficult. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. I've learned to say some words like um, 
because I have everything in French now, but I just know the pronunciation is, you know, like if I don't hear it, I don't know how to pronounce it just by reading it. And that's the, the hard part of our French, I think, right? But I know how to make the uh, the uh, sound, right? Maybe. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 it's, it's more difficult. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, the, uh, <laughs> tell me, Miriam. It's more difficult the pronunciation, but uh, it's a difficult uh, uh, understanding. I I'm not sure because uh, because I'm I'm like super super basic in in French, but I think you know you get to understand. Uh, I, I really honestly, guys, don't don't think that I'll have a hard time learning uh, French because. Uh, I I like it, and if you like something, you learn it like this, you know. So, so that's the trick, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you for joining over for joining in, guys. Um, to get today, guys, we're gonna continue with simple past, okay? And I have um, I also have uh, pronunciation tips for you guys today, all right? So uh, so yesterday, guys, we were talking uh, we were we were uh, we were talking about the structure of past tenses, right? Yes, very good. So how to make, you know, when to use auxiliary, when to not use auxiliary, how to give short answers, right? How to build uh, questions with with uh, affirmative sentences, so on and so forth, right? And we played a cool game yesterday, which uh, not all of us had the opportunity to participate in. Before I, I even start, guys, I need to talk to some of you, all right? Uh, not, not talk, guys, but I need to ask you, I need to know, first of all, if these people are here. Hold on. Um, all right, so the Dalida, Antonia, Dalida, are you here? I don't recall the name, guys, Dalida, Antonia, to be honest. No, right? Edwin Giovanni, are you here? Edwin Giovanni? I didn't see Edwin Giovanni either. Um, Gabriela Beatriz? Gabriela Beatriz. Hey, where's Gabby? I saw Gabby. Gabriela Beatriz Enriquez. No, that's not you, Gabby. All right. Hazel Claribel. No, teacher. All right. Hazel Claribel? No? Who is Hazel Clay? Guys, who are these people? Rebecca Yvonne. All right, I know that. Rebecca Yvonne. Are you here, Rebecca? Here. All right, very good. So <laughs> I have a question for you guys. Um, so this is for everybody, guys. Guys, they, uh, Inglés Corporativo sent me a message um, asking you to come to start the platform that you have until tomorrow to finish section, num section number two, all right? So uh, what happened? Why have we not started the, the uh, working on the platform? Did, did you have access? Because that happens, you know, sometimes we don't have access. Did you have access, uh, Rebecca? Tenes acceso a la plataforma? Or not? Yes, teacher, pero uh, he tenido problemas as, uh... Y no he podido acceder, pero este voy a ponerme al día, eh, tal vez mañana. All right, very good. Um, the, the people I mentioned, thank you very much, Rebecca. Las personas que mencioné, guys, tienen hasta mañana para haber terminado la sección número dos. Todos, guys, deberíamos de terminar la sección número dos mañana, right? So thank you, Rebecca, si me haces el, el grandísimo favor de terminar la plataforma hasta la sección dos mañana, that would be great. Yes? All right, very good, Just guys. Teacher. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much. All right. This applies to everyone, everyone, guys. Okay. If you have not finished uh, section number two, you know, you, you can have, you can finish it tomorrow if you want. Right. Anyways. Okay. So let's keep talking about, uh, let's keep talking about simple past. Okay. All right. So guys, yesterday we were talking about simple past with the auxiliary did, right? Guess what, guys? Today we're going to talk about making questions with the verb be. Okay. So when we make questions with the verb be, guys, all right. Um, what are the what is the structure of the question, right? What is the structure, guys, of 
the verb, uh, I mean, where is the structure? What is the structure, guys, when we use did? Did plus subject. Plus Plus verb. Plus Okay, did plus subject plus verb plus. Compliment. Compliment. All right, Let's all right, very good. Right. Let's compliment. Very good, guys. Okay, so this is the structure, guys. When we want to make a question Plus. with said question mark. question mark. Plus question mark. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right, guys. So the structure for uh for questions with the verb be is different. Okay, because the verb be, guys, also works in a, as 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 an auxiliary. Okay, it's an auxiliary verb. All right. Before we get into the gist of the structure, guys, let's take a look at this, okay? All right, so so let's ask a question. How do we ask a question? What is, What are the examples of asking questions, okay? So who would like to help me read, guys? Do my, do my favor, guys, do my favor. Turn on your cameras, okay? Everybody with the cameras turned off, guys, turn them on, please. Uh, meanwhile, Jessalyn Cani Salis, Jessalyn. Uh, help me read the questions, Jessalyn. What is the first question and what is the first answer? Jessalyn, no? Are you there? All right. Uh, Oscar, let's, all right, let's go, Oscar. Hi. Oscar Antonio, are you there? All right. Uh, yes, I'm here. Uh, were you in Hawaii? Yes, I was. Were you in Hawaii? Very good. Uh, yes, I was. Thank you very much. Okay, all right. Notice, guys, how this is different, right? And what, what's different is this right here. All right. The past of the verb be, guys. What is the past of the verb be? Was, 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 All right, was, okay. This is was for singular and were for plural, right? Very good. Yeah. All right, very good. Okay, so were you? Hey guys, if if I'm asking if if you know if if where is for plural, guys, why am I saying were you in Hawaii? Is it were you in Hawaii or was you in Hawaii? Were, were you? you in Hawaii? Were you? All right, very good. Why, guys, if it is if it is singular? Because you use are. Because when you use. you use are, you pass this where. Okay, very good, guys. Because you're always, you're always going to use where, right, with the pronoun you, regardless if it is singular or plural, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so that is the reason why guys okay all right very good um anyways question number two marcella yvonne actually uh, mrs miriam i think or miranda i'm sorry mrs miss miranda you raised your hand was it miranda or miriam i don't remember yeah yeah miss miriam miss oh miriam miranda. Right, Mir <laughs> miriam okay miriam okay thank you miriam right, number two miriam okay uh, was the weather okay? Was the no. weather? Uh, was weather. the weather? Was the weather okay? All was right. the weather okay? No, it wasn't. No, not no. No. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Okay, no, it wasn't. Repeat, wasn't. No, it was. It wasn't. No, not wasn't. 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 Okay, very good. Wasn't. Okay. All right, notice, guys, notice that in negative form, you can say, you can add the particle not, right? Wasn't mean was not, okay? Got it? Now, are these short or long answers, guys? Short answers. Short these answers. are short answers, okay? Very good. Example number three, Jose Carlos Barrientos, Dr. Barrientos. Let's hey, go, hello, doctor. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm good. I'm actually with a, okay. with a low back pain. I'm kidding. Okay, I, 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 I read the, the sentences. Uh, were you and your cousin on vacation? <laughs> yes, we were. Okay. All right. Yes, we were. Thank you very much. Marcel Yvonne, why were you laughing, Marcel? <laughs> because Barrientos lo batió. I don't know how to say. 
<laughs> All right, very good. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. Probably, that's okay. Probably. Ah, you're you're evil, Marcela. <laughs> All right, very good. Number four, Marcela. What is number four? <laughs> Were your parents there? Very good. No, okay. they weren't. No, they weren't. Now, are these yes or no questions or open-ended questions, guys? What are these? <laughs> yes or no questions. Open-ended. These are yes or no questions, guys. Right? Because you can answer with yes or no only, right? Were your parents there? Yes or no? No, yes, right? Very good. What about the ones that we have under this? Uh, Jose Carlos Rodriguez, help me read, Jose. How long were you away? How long I were was you away, away for a week. I was away for a week, very good, okay. So we're talking about, now this is a question which has an open-ended answer, right? How long were you away? I was away for a week, okay. I was, it was, et cetera, right? Last question, uh, Ana Rebecca. Right, help me read Ana Rebecca. How was your vacation? It was excellent. All right, it was excellent. Good job. Okay. How was your vacation? It was excellent. Repeat this vacation, 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 vacation. right? No vacation, vacation. Vacation, right? vacation. vacation. Very good, guys. Very good. Okay. Notice, guys, that the verb be changes the structure of a question from the verb did, right? Now, um, t-shirt, um, t-shirt, uh, uh, t-shirt, 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 really, t-shirt, 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 a blue t-shirt, chucho, chucho, t-shirt, chucho, t-shirt, t-shirt, not t-shirt. Do you say chucho then? No, it's shusho, chucho, shusho, chucho. What is it? Chucho uh, or shusho? Teacher, teacher. There teacher, you go, teacher. There teacher, you go. Che de chucho, right? Very good. Thank okay, you. okay. Teacher, teacher. I have a, a, a teacher a, chucho. Could, no. could you right. repeat? Could you repeat when we use uh, the verb to be? I, I I remember that you we use the verb to be in feelings, condition. What is what is another use with verb to be? The verb be, guys is used for a lot of things. It's it's called, you know, the verb be guys is called a uh, a linking verb because it usually links uh, links phrases, guys, okay? Or links ideas, right? So anyways, so the verb be guys is what we call in Spanish ser o estar, all right? So whatever you use ser o estar in Spanish, that's what you use ser o you know, the verb be for in English, right? However, there are some exceptions, right? Because uh, if you say, if you talk about your age, right? You don't say, I have uh, 31 years. What is the right way of saying this? I am. I am, right? I am 31 years, right? So in this case, you know, you usually talk about age, right? I um a uh, great person, you, you use it for describing, right? Describing uh, people. You guys, whatever you can imagine, that's what you use it for, right? I am a doctor. I mean, you use it for jobs, right? What else, guys? I am a liar. You use it for, you know, Sample, describing a person, I, right? I am, I, I am hungry. I am hungry, right? I am hungry. All right, so you use it for uh, yeah, states, feelings. right? Or feelings, okay. okay? All right, states and feelings. Very good, okay? So it has multiple okay. usages, Thank right? You. Thank, thank you, teacher. No problem. Good question, right? So anyways, guys, keep in mind, guys, that the verb, the past of the verb be, guys, is always for am or is, guys, is going to be was, okay? For are and for are is going to be where. So what are the... The past tenses of the verb be Ana Rebecca. Anna, tell 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 el toxico, right? Tell el toxico to call you later, right? Tell him, hey, déjame estudiar de right? <laughs> All right, what is it? What is it, Anna? Sería. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, sería, no Spanish. 
Se, se me olvida eso, por eso no, no, no Spanish. lo digo así. Right, ok, um, sería. Sería, don't say sería. That doesn't exist. <laughs> It should be was or where, okay? Hi, right, I'm sorry, I was just getting your attention because I saw you, you know, you, you do need to tell Toxico go to call you later, okay? Let's, <laughs> let's be in the class, guys, okay? Very good. Anyway, so uh, remember, guys, So we use this as, this is to answer your question, Carlos, uh, Dr. Barrientos, right? All right, what do we use? Uh, what do we use simple past for, guys? We use it to talk, to talk about what? Feelings, conditions. We use it to talk about feelings, conditions, states, and descriptions, right? Either in the present or in the past, okay? All right, very good, guys, very good. So far, guys, so far, so good. Are we following? Vamos siguiendo. Yes. No? Yes. All right, very good. Yes, teacher. All right, guys. Very See? Good. Feelings, conditions, states, descriptions. Now, guys, notice that this is also used in the present of the past, right? Now, do me a favor, guys. Let's practice the next. Okay, I'm going to give you some examples now, guys. Okay. For example, <clears throat> let's make a question, right? So, uh, the structure for our question, guys, is the verb be in the past plus what else subject 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 plus okay plus what plus else compound. plus plus verb verb plus verb verb okay. no because they're very b now guys you can you can use you know after the subject you can use Where you run in yesterday, right? You can use the subject in ING, but if you do that, then we're talking about past continuous. And we're not talking about past continuous today. We're talking about simple past, okay? So here, guys, you're used to, you're gonna use a noun or you're gonna use a pronoun, right? All right, plus a complement. So you can say where you, all right, yes or no question, right? This is for yes or no, yes or no, questions okay so you can say uh were you here yesterday was i don't know guys let's think about a creative name was chayanne right was chayanne here yesterday all right question mark all right guys so do we well. have all right surprise surprise chayanne right anyways all right so uh <laughs> Okay, guys. So what? I, I, I dream with Chayanne, please, teacher. <laughs> I, every, after every every class, you always after my classes, you dream with Chayanne, right? You dream of Chayanne. yes, teacher. That's Chayanne. great. That's great. I, I do that too. <laughs> All right, the kids. You know, these days they don't know who Chayanne is. Who doesn't know who Chayanne is, guys? <laughs> I'm kidding. I know that you all know. Anyways, so anyways, guys. Yeah, so yeah, um. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, question four. Let's see, Lisette, okay? All right, ask me a question, all right? Let's ask you a question. Just on the verb be, yes or no question. And everybody else, guys, do me a favor. You guys send me a question in the chat, okay? All right, start making me a question, guys. Start sending me a question in the chat. Uh, so Lisette, okay, let's, let's try a question. What? Uh, ask me a question with a verb be. Okay. Um, was you your was you uh, was you get I'm sorry, was your what? No. I'm not sure. Try it, try it, try it. Follow the structure, follow the structure here. Was your... Was your... Uh, was your... Think about an animal. Was your cat? Was your cat, okay, very good. Was your cat? Uh, was your cat... Um, sweet, no, okay, cariñoso. Okay, was your cat okay? Was your cat sweet? 
All right. <laughs> Very good. Okay, that's it, guys. What's your cat sweet? Very good. A post release set, guys. Okay. Good job. All right. Thank okay. you. Guys. All right. All right. Good job. All right. Uh, Marcel Yvonne, right? Ask me a question, Marcel Yvonne. Was your mother 45 years old in 2020? What? Uh, what? Was your mother what? Was your mother 44 years old in 2020? Was your mother four years old in 2020? Is that, that, is that what you asked me? Yes. All right, very good, very good. Absolutely not, but thank you, right? Thank you very much, all right? All right, okay. that, that's good, that's good, okay? Another question, guys, um, Oscar Antonio. Let's ask him a question, Oscar Antonio. Uh, was your friend in your house yesterday? All right, was your friend in your house yesterday, all right? Very good, all right? Good job. Emerson Cassidy, right? Let's ask another question. Uh, was your brother tired yesterday? Was your brother tired yesterday? Very good. Okay, good job. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. That's great. Maritza Rivera, right? Let's ask another question. Maritza. Hello. Um my no was my brother driven was my brother what uh, manejando driving now driving guys driving is driving. Yeah. Right? no if you need a noun you need a noun it's, that's un adjetivo but i'm sorry un sustantivo right and now um yeah so so no, 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 no. Sleep. Sleep. Was my was my brother asleep? Like this? Was my brother asleep? That is a bed. Asleep. Well, that's a state, guys, right? Asleep. Asleep, right? Was my brother asleep? Asleep. Last asleep. night. Asleep. Okay? That means uh uh that he's sleeping, guys. Okay. All right, was my brother asleep last night? Very good. Okay. All right, good job. Uh, let's see, guys. Let me take a look at your answers, guys, so we can move on. Hey, 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 hey. I, I thought that was an example. Okay, very good. David, I'm still sick. I'm sorry, that's not an example. Uh, were you sick yesterday? Was Keo, what? Were you in a class this in, this, in the morning? Were you in a class in the morning? Very good. Was Gloria Trevi sang today? Now, was Gloria Trevi sang today? No. Ah. Fue Gloria Trevi cantada ayer. How can she be sung, guys? Right? Now, and that should be a past participle, you know, so that that's the structure there isn't great. Right? So just follow the structure, guys. Uh, Jose Carlos, was your friend here yesterday? Okay, very good. Ana Rebecca, was you was you beach yesterday? Hmm, that's incorrect. If you want to ask if you were at the beach, were you at the beach yesterday, right? Here you're asking. I did, well, it doesn't make sense, okay? Uh, <laughs> we need to change that. Stephanie, was you, was, guys, remember, with the pronoun you, guys, what what uh, what verb be do we use in the past, guys? Was or you? Where, or where? Where, 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 where? You, where, right? Where so where? if we ask a question, guys, where you, got it? Right, when we ask a question, guys, you follow the same rule. Where you, right? Were you at the beach yesterday, all right? Uh, so were you, it should be a Stephanie, were you at the dinner today, right? Or you said, was you eat the dinner today? That doesn't break, right? Um, Anna Francisca, was you, where are you, right? Not was you. Uh, was you, was you, guys, do not use was you. A lot of people are using was you. All right, let me clarify that, guys, okay? Send me, an, send me another example, guys. Guys, when you use the pronoun, you have to use where? What do you use, guys? Where? where? Very good. So when you ask a question, where you, guys, okay, the structure for our question, right? The verb be first in the past, right? Plus subject. 
all right? I, I need you guys to correct this, okay? I need you to understand this part, so we're going to practice as much as we need. All right, so where plus subject plus a noun, guys, a noun or a pronoun, okay? All right? So here, guys, don't use a verb. You need to use a noun. A noun, guys, right? Where are you here? Where are you there? All right? Where are you... Were you aware? Were you aware? Were you happy? Were you happy? Very good, guys. See, were you happy? You can also use adjectives. You can use a noun, adjective, right? Whatever, right? Were you happy? Were you happy last year? Eras feliz el año pasado? Now, that, that's what it means, guys. Eras. Eras o estabas, okay? Does that make sense? Okay. So send me, all right, I need everybody else to send me your examples, guys, again, all right? Now, you also use where, guys, if you're, if you're talking about, uh, you can say where, where we, where they, got it? All right, as long as it is plural, guys, you're going to use where, all right? So let's see those examples again. All right, so why she cooking dinner last night? Good job, Betty. Marcela, where the pupusas delicious? Good job, right? Estaban las pupusas deliciosas? Very good. Uh, Betty, were they angry with us? They, were they angry at us, okay? Uh, were they alone yesterday? Alone. Alone is not, is not I think you want to say alone, Jose. Alone is like this, alone. Right, solos, right? Is that what you want to say? Alone, not alone. Were you having a birthday yesterday? Good job, Miriam. That's great, okay? Good job, guys. Keep sending me. Keep sending me examples, okay? All right. Very good, very good. All right. Everybody, everybody, send me examples, the right examples. Were you eat yesterday? No. No, Luis, that's incorrect. First of all, because we're, uh, we're is not, all right, that, that is not a contraction. Where? Where is what you need to say, okay? Where? All right, and you said, were they unhappy? Very good, very good. All right, good job, guys. Good, good, uh, good job. Sorry, teacher. Tell is me. The, is the cell phone that okay. is incorrect? All right, don't uh, worry right. about it. <laughs> sorry. All right. Very good, guys, very good. Okay, so anyways, okay, so guys, let me ask you these questions, okay? So, um, so you're gonna ask, you're gonna ask these. Well, I'm gonna ask you these two questions, guys. All right. Were you happy yesterday? Were you late this morning? Now, one thing that we need to mention here, guys, how to answer this. Remember, short questions, short answers, right? Yes, I was. What else, guys? No. No, I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't. Right? No, I wasn't. Very good. What else? Yes. Yes. They, yes. They were. were. They, they were. She, yes, she was. Or, or yes, they were. Yes. All right. Or, or yes. no, they weren't. Right. Yes, no, they weren't. Were. All right. Or yes, you were, etc. Okay. So that's that's what you're gonna do. Okay. So I want you to answer these questions. Okay. All right. I'm gonna give you guys. Uh, I think we can do it here, okay? But um, yeah, let's do it here, okay? So let me ask the people who have whom I haven't asked here. Uh, Ivan Jose, all right? Ivan Jose, were you happy yesterday, Ivan? Yes. Yes, what? You have to say yes, I was. Yes, I was. Very good, okay, very good. Were you my student before, Francisco Ortiga? No, I wasn't. Very good. Astrid, were you late this morning? Well, were you late tonight? Yes, I was. You were late? Okay, all right. That's, that's bad. Don't be late. All right. Karen. All right, Karen. Were you my student before? Yes, I was. Very good, guys. Very good. Okay. Now, what you guys are going to do is this, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna see the last topic for tonight. And then 
I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you together into breakout sessions, all right? Within the breakout sessions, guys, you are gonna ask, you're gonna prepare questions, and I might recommend you to start preparing them right now. You will prepare questions for your couple, right? So you will prepare questions like, uh, were you practicing, were, were you here in this class yesterday? No, I wasn't. Uh, was your mom sick yesterday? No, she wasn't. Um, were you at the hospital yesterday, Dr. Barrientos? Yes, I was no, because I I'm a doctor, right? Got it? So you're gonna prepare mm -hmm. questions, guys. Okay, but before that, guys, let me teach you pronunciation. So, so you have, uh, so you have, you know, American accent, right? Do you want to talk like Americans or do you want to talk like, like Sofia Vergara? And talk like no, this like, all the time and, and you know, no, you like, will re like, be receiving the class like this. No, like American. Like American, right? Very good. All right, guys. So, so we're going to talk about reduction of auxiliary verbs, okay? First off, guys, what is an auxiliary verb? Who can tell me what an auxiliary, auxiliary, uh, auxiliary verb is, guys? An auxiliary. An auxiliary. An auxiliary. <laughs> yes, what is it? The, the, the auxiliary, no? auxiliary, the verb. <laughs> auxiliary. Repeat, guys. Auxiliary. 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 All right. An auxiliary verb, guys, is any auxiliary verb that we know, right? Uh, it's the verb, guys, that helps us support a main verb, okay? For example, guys, an auxiliary verb is did, do, does, have, had, what else? What? what else? Like to be, was, were, and. All right, the verb be, right? All right, uh, the verb be, very good. So these are auxiliary, guys, okay? So what you're going to learn today, guys, is actually pronunciation. When we talk, what is that sound? Is that a cat? Marcela. What, Marcela? What? No. <laughs> I love pets. All right, very good. Okay, whatever that was, guys, that was funny. Anyways, so um, so so today, guys, we came this last hour. We're gonna talk about. Oh, no, say, let, say. Let me mute. Are you? I, yeah, that's a cat. Oh, like, nah. That's a cat. That's nice. Okay. That's a cat. All right, very good. Oh, I'm glad that it's a cat. I thought it was something else. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> All right. That would not to speak English. All right, yeah, the cat is more interested in the class than you are. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, very good, guys. So um, anyways, so the objective for today, guys, is going to be talk, you know, to talk about the reduction of acceleration. We're going to have some practice at the end, okay? So by the end of this class, you will notice the end used reduced auxiliary verbs, okay? Reduced auxiliary verbs, all right? So now, guys, when we talk about reduced auxiliary verbs, uh, <clears throat> this is something native speakers do, okay? For example, guys, this is kind of like, well, not exactly the same example, but we as native speakers, as native Salvadorians, let me ask you something, guys, and be honest with me. How do you pronounce this? How do you pronounce that? Really, really? The people say verdad. All right. You Okay, you say people say verdad, okay? So see, we do not pronounce the D at the end, right? Verdad. But in, 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 in actuality, guys, we pronounce this as Ba, ba, right? Mm. Very good. So this is our reduction, guys. We are just how many how many letters are we reducing here? We're not we're not pronouncing the D, this D, we're not pronouncing this D, R. we're not pronouncing the R. We're not we're we're reducing this by four four letters, guys. Letter. Okay. All right. So this is our reduction. So in pronunciation, guys, from Spanish from English speakers, you know, the same, yeah. not not exactly the same thing, guys, but there is reduction when when you pronounce something, okay? So everybody, I want everybody to repeat after me, okay? Even, even if you're muted, guys, okay? Fresh water, repeat, fresh water. Fresh water. Fresh water. Fresh water. All right, we usually, how do you pronounce this, guys? How do you read, 
how do how do you read this? Is. I pronounce everybody is is not is not is no es seguro social right is 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 okay very good is and and the sound is a z at the end right so all right all right so check this out guys check this out we will usually say fresh water is being wasted right but Americans Americans guys reduce this okay so guys do not pronounce this that's the point okay so you should read like this fresh water is being wasted oh fresh, okay okay fresh, fresh, fresh water is water being wasted water. very good okay so what you do guys what you do is that you extend the sound of the a sound okay i, I mean of the, of the sound yes. t-shirt guys why do you call me t-shirt <laughs> T-shirt. Camiseta, camiseta. T-shirt. Okay, camiseta, right? Uh, hey, camiseta, hey, camiseta, right? Camiseta. T-shirt, camiseta. T-shirt, baby. Imagine that nickname, guys. Teacher, teacher. Camiseta. Teacher, t-shirt. Teacher, t-shirt. All right, well, tell me, tell me. Yo, I right, soy el camiseta. Go ahead. Next meeting. Uh, Okay. Um, That's why you call me, guys, with camiseta, so I can, all right? It's okay, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, you can repeat, repeat uh, the pronunciation? Camisetas. No, no, no. <laughs> this is exercise. <laughs> the, okay, which, which pronunciation? I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> you want me to share the screen back again? All right, hold, hold on. I'll share the screen back again. El camisetas. <laughs> Why? What? What? Okay. What? What do you want me to repeat? French water. Water is. Uh, I don't know. Uh, oh, okay. Right. Yeah. I'm, I, hmm. I was about to explain you that right now. Just now. Okay. Yes, they said. Don't worry. I will explain that to you right now. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you for. Thank you for calling me a camisetas too, okay? All right. <laughs> Anyways, guys, so all right, let's let's uh <laughs> let's, let's work on this. All right, so so it says guys, when the, the thing here, guys, is that when you are when you have the verb is okay, when you have any auxiliary verb, okay, you join it with the previous word. For example, if I say when the example of water. All right, it sounds like this, waters, see? All right, so you say water is great. Repeat, guys, water is great. 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 Okay, water is great. Okay, good job. Now, that is a long sound, okay? Water is great. Water is great. Water is great. All right, why, guys? Because what is the auxiliary, guys, in the in the word water? Is. 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 is right so is. we're using you know the auxiliary is is right is is okay so is, is. very good so um the too much trash has, all right so this one right here okay i'm gonna give you the other example newspapers are being thrown away okay so news all right so let's use news papers have been thrown away all right let's repeat guys newspapers have been thrown away newspapers newspapers have been thrown, been thrown away. away thrown away repeat guys thrown away thrown, thrown away. away very good not throw away thrown away thrown away, thrown away. Thrown away. very good okay so what do we do here guys you do this okay newspapers ugh. newspapers ugh. all right newspapers being thrown away repeat guys Newspapers thrown away. Newspapers being thrown away. Okay. Newspapers being thrown away. All right. So what is the auxiliary here, guys? Um, okay. So the auxiliary here, right, is have. And instead of saying have, we say, uh, right, uh, right. Newspapers being thrown away. Okay. Very good, very good. Esta, esta Marcela Sola Risas, very good. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, very good. Too much trash has been created. All right, let's write that one. Too much trash has been create has been created. All right. So what about this, guys? Where is the auxiliary here? Has. Yes. Has. All right. Has. So what do you do? What do you think that you do here? This one is easy, guys. What do you think that you do here? Has. Too much trash. Too much trash. Too much trash being created. Repeat, guys. Too much trash mm -hmm. being created. Too much trash, trash. Too much trash. Too much trash. Too much trash being created. Too much trash being created. Everybody, too much trash being created. Too much trash being created. Very good. Okay. Now this one parts have been lost. Okay. Now what do you do here? Parks. 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 Parks have been lost. Very good. Parks. Good job. Parks. Ah, applause Parks. for you guys. Parks. Parks. I know. Parks have been lost. Parks have been lost. Okay. All right. No, it's Parks not. I know. I know it's incorrect. Parks have been lost. Okay. All right. That's how you Some pronounce it. lost. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Lisette. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Anyways, guys, okay, so this is just, guys, okay, uh, let's create more sentences, guys. What what else can we create here? We can say, I don't know, let's talk about she. She has fallen in love. How do you, how do you reduce this? She is, she falling, is in falling in love. She's, She's falling, falling in love. love. Very good. There you go, yeah. guys. She's falling in love. She's good job. Love. All right. Very good. Okay. Uh, give me another one, guys. All right. Let's, you try one. Try one from the examples that we got from auxiliary, okay? Who wants to give me an example? Crickets? No. Uh, let's see. Tell me, right? Tell me. Give me one example. Talk about all right, let's talk about an actor. Who's your, who's the actor that you like the most? Uh, for example, she was uh, Who is the actor that you like the most? ¿Quién es el actor que te gusta más? Um, I don't thank have. You. Thank you very much, Chayanne. Very good. Thank you, right? Chayanne is also an actor. Thank you very much, right? So, Chayanne, right? Yes, teacher. Gloria, 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 Michael Jackson. MB, right? I'm gonna call MB, right? <laughs> Bukele, MB, right? MB, MB. All right, MB, right? So MB, that's Nayib Bukele. So, all right. So let's uh, give me an auxiliary, guys. Uh, what what auxiliary do we use with Nayib? Yes. Oh, yes. you guys yes. make me yes. laugh. Yes. What? Yes. Okay, so you would say, yes. I'm, I'm going to yes. write it also. We can. Naive, Bukele. Yes. All right. We can, all right, let's use has, right? So how will we, how will we, how will we, how will we uh, reduce the Very good has? Naive, Bukele. Naive, Bukele. Naive, Traveled. Been and traveled. One hill, one hill. No, traveled. No, because we're saying that it's that you tell us has traveled, right? So we need a past part to travel to Italy. Good job, right? Mm -hmm. So we say Naibu Kellis traveled to Italy. Repeat guys, Naibu Kellis traveled to Italy. Travel to Italy, okay. Travel. All right, very good. Another example, okay. All right, let's let's have another another person who is not Cheyenne. <laughs> Can I try? Yes, try, please. Okay, Toretto has been with his family all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Right. I'm agreeing with you. 
agree. I agree. No, I'm agree. I agree. I'm I, sorry. I agree with him. All right, all this time. Okay, Toretto has been with his family all this time. All right, very good. Not Toretto, Toretto has been. Toretto has been, right? Toretto has been. Okay. All right, very good, guys. Okay, Emerson, give me another example, Emerson, for the last example. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, please. <laughs> oh, no. All right, Cheyenne, what? Gloria, please. Cheyenne, what? Dua Lipa. Has a problem Dua with your cats. Okay. Now, hold on. Right, very good. Thank you. This is a this is a good one, and I'll tell you what, guys, because he's using Cheyenne. That's that's why it's good. It's a good one. No, the reason why this is a good one, guys, is because of this. Cheyenne has a problem with his car. Now, can I reduce this yet, guys? Yes or no? What do you think? No. Chayanne's, no, Chayanne's a problem with his car. No, no you cannot. No, Why you can cannot? You? Because, because he, he doesn't have an appearance. Exactly. Is, because gas is a verb. Because okay. this. No, 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 it's also yes. very. Because that is the main, the main okay. thing. Okay. Not an auxiliary, okay? Guys, we can't use Cheyenne's a problem with his car because that is not an auxiliary. This is not working as an auxiliary. No. Okay? It's like the main guys, thing. all right. I'll, I'll, I'll translate. I'm hate, I hate I hate it, guys. When I, you know, I hate when I translate something else, but I have to. I think it's gonna be, it's gonna take less time to understand this, okay? Have guys or has, okay? All right, when we use it as an auxiliary, it means a, ah, okay, in Spanish, a, ah, got it? El ha hecho esto, he has done this, right? So you use a past participle, even, even, even in Spanish, you use the past participle, right? All right, a, ah, el a, ella a, yo e, got it? All right, that's what it means. But when you use it like this, Cheyenne has a problem, right? It translates to Cheyenne tiene. Has tiene, guys, problem. no significa a, ah, got it? It yes. means tiene, right? It means, you know, you in, possess in, in, something. In this form, it's a verb. Exactly. In this form, okay. all right, in this form, well, it is an auxiliary verb, but in this form, guys, all right, a this means possession, verb. possession, right? Okay, all right. Okay, okay. So if you use it as possession, you cannot reduce it. So it's a good example, guys, because I don't want you to get confused with using this uh, as a as a possessive, you know, right? As a verb that that uh, that implies that you have a possession, right? You can only reduce something, guys, when it works as an auxiliary. Okay. Example, only when, guys. For example, maybe if we, if we talk about Cheyenne has bought a new car. Very good, exactly, right? So if you say, guys, okay, the pronunciation is but, not both. Both is un bote, all right? But, all right, so if I say, guys, Cheyenne has bought a new car, then this is right, guys. We can say, see, how, how would be the, how would you do the reduced form, guys? Cheyenne? Cheyenne's. Cheyenne's dog. Cheyenne's bought a new, a new car. car. All right, very good, guys. Okay. In, very this, good. in this case, it has is a, a name in Spanish. Has is an auxiliary. Yeah, in but in case. Spanish, it's, it's A. In Spanish. Ah. Cheyenne A. Ah. You don't say Cheyenne A encontrado. You say Cheyenne A encontrado. Right? I, 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 I think in English. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> That's a good answer, okay? All right, guys. So, anyways, do you have any questions, guys? It's yours. Oh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, okay, I have a question. <laughs> Tell me. Um, is this uh, used in a conversation or in a wedding? wedding? Is it used in a... Yes, yes, that's how everybody speaks. Todo mundo habla así. Solamente para hablar. Okay. 
Yes, uh, when you're writing, you can write it down like that, but, but it, is, it isn't, guys, that's a good question. When you're writing formal papers, guys, when, they, when, it, when, when there's something formal, like an email from your workplace, right? Let's say that you have to send an email to your workplace, right? you know, to your coworkers. You never use, uh, you never use contractions. You never use contractions when sending formal papers, when doing, uh, when creating normal uh, formal papers, okay? Mm -hmm. Cuando vos es algo, algo formal, escrito, no se usa nunca contracciones. I think that's how you say it in, in Spanish, right? You never use it, okay? Okay, okay. Uh, you, you, see, you see contractions when writing, when we're giving examples, or when you actually write down what the other person said, okay? But when I, when I say, guys, that you join words together, it refers to when you are speaking, okay? All right? So that was a very good question, Seth. Thank you very much, All right? Thank you. That was an awesome question. Hello, hello. Right? If, Tell me, if, Emerson. Thank you, if, teacher. If, see, teacher, if, there you go. <laughs> if, Tell me, Emerson. Um, and if conversation formals, uh, you mean informal I, conversations? I can use a contraction. Yes, yes. In any conversation, you can use contractions. Okay, thank you. Yes. All right, very good, guys. Very good. Any other question, guys? I have a All question. Right. Tell me, tell me, Gabby. Davis. Uh, Gabriela. Davis. Yes. All right, um, Davis. That's a Davis. new name. Sorry. Thank, thank you, Davis. Davis, <laughs> Davis, el camisetas. All right. Very good. Tell me. Sorry, sorry. That's okay. Um, I'm used to it in, now. In the case of the auxiliary D, do, or that, how I will, how we will write that? Well, in the same way, you use, uh, you use the DASA. For example, uh, he had come yesterday. He had come yesterday. He'd come yesterday. He'd. Da, 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 yeah. Right? Exactly. All right. So you use the final sound, guys. The final consonant sound, right? Usas la última consonante. Got it? All right. So that's Thank you, teacher. Teacher, thank you. No, no. Thank you, teacher. Oh, oh, okay. Shushu, thank, you. Shushu. Okay. thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Now you're calling me teacher. See, that it works, right? It works. Thank you. Everything. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Lisette. Okay. Thank you for making everybody call me teacher. <laughs> you can call me David, guys. David. <laughs> right, David. Thank you. Thank you. That's very better. Hey, guys, before you leave, guys, don't leave yet. Okay. I have something to tell you. Mm -hmm. First off, guys, we do not have a class on Friday. Si me están preguntando, teacher, tenemos clase el viernes, le voy a decir, ¿cuándo lo dije? Right? Le voy a decir, venía a la clase porque yo lo mencioné en la clase el ¿qué día soy? miércoles, Wednesday. right? Wednesday. Very good, on Wednesday, very good. So, all right, no tenemos clase el viernes, right? Right, very good. So we don't, we don't have a class on, on Friday, guys. The other thing, guys, uh, I'm going to mention some names again. And you tell me if you guys are here. Hold on. Uh, okay, so Dalida Antonia, not here. Edwin Giovanni Alvarez. Edwin? What did you say before? What name did you say? Dalida Antonia, that's what I said. Dalida, no? All right, very good. Uh, Dalida, yeah, not here. Uh, Gabriela Beatriz. Gabriela Beatriz Enriquez. All right, Hazel Claribel. No. All right, I, I have no idea what happened. Anyways, guys, I was just, you know, because we have uh, 29 people right now. So I was wondering if they were here so so you can complete the class. Guys, uh, tomorrow, guys, tomorrow you should have section number two completed. Uh, thank you, thanks, thank, thank you to everyone who's been sending me. See, who's been sending me, see? Who has been sending me? See, I'm using... Redu uh, uh, auxiliaries, auxiliaries, right? So thank you to everyone who's been sending me the screenshot from your completion on the platform, okay? Uh, complete section number two, guys. Tomorrow, guys, tomorrow, we'll go over the answers from section number two, okay? So complete everything that you can today, guys, right? Or tomorrow, 
And before you come to this class, guys, make sure that section two is complete. If you have questions that you do not know the answer for, I will answer them. I will help you with all of them tomorrow in the class, okay? I repeat, les voy a ayudar con eso mañana en la clase. Got it? Got it? So, all right, so no need to be teacher. ¿Cuál es la respuesta Thank de eso, you, teacher. teacher, right? No, in the class, guys, okay? In the class. So we'll, we'll help, I'll help you here, okay? Thank you, guys. I, I really appreciate it. Um, thank you, thank you, right? You, you guys are doing an awesome job, guys. I know it's hard, and I know it's hard sometimes, you know, to, you know, per, perhaps, you know, your, your ears are not so used to, to, uh, to the accent, but you'll get used to that, guys. You guys think that you're doing a wonderful job. Así que gracias, guys. Eventualmente se van a acostumbrar a mi inglés, guys, right? Si todavía les cuesta, right? Eventually, you know, like, your ear gets used to that, right? Uh, thank you, thank you, Lisette, for calling me el camisetas, okay? I hope everybody else learned, guys. <laughs> All right, enjoy the rest of your night, guys. Bye-bye, guys. Night. Take care. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye.